Capricorn, this is your horoscope for February 2019. Thanks for joining me. On the 4th of February, we've got a new moon in Aquarius, and that happens in your second house of money. I've made a separate video on this new moon. It's a bit of a strange one, and I go into more details in that video. It's about downloading really useful information that can add a lot of value to your life and to the lives of others because it gives you information that you can implement practically like work-wise or um, diet-wise or exercise-wise that's going to serve you and it's going to help other people. In your case, it's going to be information that has to do with making more money because it sits in your second house of cash. So you've got the midheaven there, which is work, and the communication planet Mercury as well, sitting there with that new moon. So ideas about your work and how you can communicate that more effectively, that's going to come in strong and loud for you here at the beginning of February. Also on the 4th of February, Venus, the planet of love and beauty, goes into your sign of Capricorn, and it's in your first house. Saturn and Pluto are also in Capricorn in your first house. So you're going to work on love and relationships. And there's, it's very likely that your relationship status is going to change this month if you wanted to. So if you're single and you want to be in a relationship, you can work towards making that happen. If you're already in a relationship and what you what you have this month is a great insight into what's going on so you'll be able to step back and take an objective look at the relationship and work to make it better or if you feel like goodness i've been giving this person and giving this person for 20 years and i've got nothing back then you'll start to recognize that and you may withdraw the work that you're doing and may kind of channel it into a different direction so it's your choice i don't see that you've got surprises coming your way in terms of relationships or being dumped or you know being left or anything like that but what i see is you making a decision about whether your relationship is still relevant and whether it still works for you on the 5th of feb if you follow chinese astrology it's the new year of the pig which represents wealth and abundance and that's good news in your case anyway you've got a new moon happening in your second house of money so february is going to be fabulous for you financially anyway so so far money and romance are the two big things that you're going to progress in on the 10th of february mercury the communication planet that goes into your third house of communication communication planet in the house of communication is really empowered but it's in Pisces so Mercury wants to connect on a spiritual level Neptune is there as well Neptune the water planet of dreams and imagination and Chiron which is the wounded healer they're both in Pisces as well so if you're a Capricorn who works as a psychic or as a psychic medium a clairvoyant you're now from the 10th of February until the end of February going to get messages through much clearer much more quickly but if you're an atheist or agnostic and you're really practically inclined you're going to find communication a little bit more difficult because you start to have all of these funny ideas it's like what's angels and i'm hearing messages and i'm having dreams and all of those things so it's an opportunity if you have always felt disconnected or you really haven't had a plan when it comes to religion or personal spirituality this is a time when spiritual spirituality simply encroaches on you it's kind of like an intrusive thought so it's your opportunity to delve into that realm and to progress and to learn about spirituality and spiritual love so that's a chance that you can or that you can take or that you can leave it's your decision on the 13th of february until the 23rd we've got mars and uranus sitting together they conjunct each other and they blend their energies so mars is the male principle uranus is rebellion 
Each house of the chart has 30 degrees, so when something is at 1 degree or 29 degrees, it becomes even heightened, even stronger, because it's on the cusp. So you've got this juggernaut of I want and I don't care what anyone thinks. At 29 degrees in Aries, which is let's go, let's move forward, that's in your fourth house of family. So you're really going to want to make some sort of progress or take the next step in your romantic life. So whether you give someone the keys to your apartment or whether you want to make your relationship uh, solid and more, yeah, if you want to make it more official and add more stability to it, from the 13th and the 23rd you're going to feel this need to make it official. So. Um, to propose to the person you're in love with so that you can get married and to add someone who you love to your family and to make them family. And there's going to be absolutely no doubt in your mind. So if you're someone who struggles with commitment and struggles with the idea of, you know, is this the right person? Is this the one? Uh, is this really who I should settle down with? all of those doubts kind of go out the window and Mars and Uranus <clears throat> in a very masculine way kind of help you pick and decide and, and it doesn't matter whether you're female or male it just you just know this is the one for me on the 14th Valentine's Day Mars goes into Taurus, which is the most sensual and sexual sign of the zodiac. And that goes into your fifth house of romantic relationships. And yeah, from the 13th until the 23rd, you're going to have that powerful Mars-Uranus conjunction. But Mars stays in Taurus now until the end of the month. So when it comes to chemistry and sex and physical love, you're going to be the expert and you're really going to be interested in that. So at the beginning of the month, uh, the ideas here with money are very important. So get that going. Now, later on in the month, it's all about relationships and having fun and being intimate with people you care about. On the 19th, we've got a full moon in Virgo. It's also a super moon because it's closer to the earth than usual. So it looks bigger. That is in your ninth house of education, broadening your horizons, uh, travel, and it's, it's lit up. So it's 180 degrees away from the sun in Pisces in your third house. So you're going to start to find that this spiritual um, energy that started to come in and that didn't make sense to you earlier in the month now really does start to make sense and the energy of the full moon in Virgo lasts until the end of February and Virgo is like a sponge it loves to absorb information and then it breaks that information down to make meaning out of it so you're busy frolicking and having fun with uh, you know someone else but also there's an opportunity here for you to really gain spiritual insights and spiritual understanding and to make progress in your spiritual life. And that may not be important to you, that may not be something that you've ever engaged with, but in my experience, when you do make spirituality and a connection with your higher self and uh, higher power of your understanding, when you make that your priority, that's when you really when your life really starts to work, when you get guidance that really helps you. You as a Capricorn, you live through self-propulsion. You kind of want something and you do it. You work hard for the things you want. You don't expect things to be given to you. So often you don't reach out for a lot of help. So this month is not only an opportunity to experience love in a physical way, but also to experience that universal love and to feel the unconditional love of spirit. So try out different things. Try out um, meditation techniques, different ones. You've got Jupiter, the lucky planet, sitting in your 12th house of spirituality and spiritual strength. 
it does make you stronger. So try out different meditation techniques, try yoga, try chanting, try um, qigong, anything that you feel drawn to, just give it a try and see how you feel. And if it's effortless and it makes you feel relaxed and loved, then you know you've hit the jackpot and that's something that you should continue. So that's what I get for you in February. Looks like a great month. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. If you like my videos, then please share them on the internet via your socials. Hit the subscribe button and I'll speak to you next month.